presentation are going to take us through VAT returns file. VAT return is an enhance or an enhancement of VAT return where all your transactions are pre-filled in the VAT3 return template. So this is already pre-filled. So very simple and very uh, very simple and uh, it's a very simple way of doing it. So let's go into it. Uh, step one, log into the ITAX and select the option for return, file return under the return menu. Just like being shown there in that arrow, you just go click on the return uh, returns and you'll see uh, on the menu options. So click on file return. And once you do that, select the tax obligation VAT uh, value added tax that is a VAT and proceed to the next step so filing the process uh, when you do that the only thing you have to select is the VAT you have options on the tax obligation but you're only selecting the VAT return as shown here on this arrow then uh, step three is click on the button download auto populated VAT return here where my uh, CASA is so you just click on download the populated VAT return then proceed to say okay once you click uh, on download or populated return it will give you this uh, prompt do you want to download pre-filled form and you say okay then it will download to your computer you go to your downloads and you open it once the VS return zip file has been downloaded open it to view the VAT return excel template and the csv files that are to be added to the respective sheets of the VAT return so this is what you see all these sheets are supposed to be imported the VAT sheets that you once you download that return. The next step is basically now importing them. So the first section you're talking about is section B. Under this CSV, they're already pre-populated, and you can see here the section B, the section B without pin, the section D1 with pin, the section D1 without, section C, section E, section F, section H, and then the last one is VAT return. That is the last part of that return so basically what you're talking about or what you're showing here is basically once you open now the return itself this is where you import those csvs that you've just seen as you can see down here this import csv and this is basically for uh vat 16 percent to consumers that is the vat that you are charged so basically here you can see the section b it says sales and output tax on sales for the period that is the general the general rate is 16 percent so indicate the date uh, invoice date invoice number description of the goods taxable value and the amount of vat tax value rate at 16 percent so ideally we're not entering this data manually that's how we are calling this presentation auto populated uh, sheets already under vat and this is very simple you come and click import so if you just look at section b let's look at section d and this is we are dealing with zero rated products zero rated products like watch one milk when you go to the supermarket and you get your uh, you pay for some things you'll realize that under under the totals there is zero point zero percent uh it will show you how much that is and then there is 16 percent the 16 percent sales is here and then the zero percent is here like milk they are not they are not taxed they're taxed at zero percent so you come and import them here in the csv file that we just downloaded you realize that section e section c H section e is here you just have to upload and i've shown us that this is where you import it's called import csv so you just click on import csv and you're good to go uh let's look at section e exempt uh, supplies total sales and vat to consumers not registered for vat this value is derived from electronic invoices this is basically the team system that we have and then it will already be a, a bit populated and you're able to upload it here uh, you enter the pin you would have entered the pin of the purchaser but when you're getting the e teams invoice the the receipt that you get where you purchase things uh, you normally give out your PIN and then what happens is some of these CSV files are pre-populated already. So you come here and do this, just confirm against the receipt and then you enter. Very simple of doing it because you don't have to enter manually all of it. It's already been done. So what you do in the CSV is just to confirm. Section C is now when you've already now uh, uploaded them. 
Remember, we looked at uh, section B here. This is just a template, uh, VAT sheet you are talking about where you import the CSVs. And then now, this is once you import. We are um, just blocked the pin of purchasers and the name of purchasers and the uh, ETR serial number because of confidentiality. But once you upload, this is how it looks. You'll have, you'll see all the pin of purchasers, uh, name of purchasers and the ETR serial numbers, invoice dates are there, invoice numbers are there as you can see. You don't need to enter them manually, you just have to upload what we talked about, the downloaded uh, auto-populated CSV files. So this is section B, now let's go to D1, you do the same, you just upload the CSV here. So this is B, so we come to D, so you import wherever those figures uh, are there then it will be done. This is the last page. It will show you now uh, this section, section O, calculation of VAT due. So this way it, it does the summary once you fill all those sheets that you can see below. These are the sheets we were talking about. Once you import those CSVs, they're able to be populated. So you can see the output VAT as compared to input VAT. It also considers the it also considers the exempt goods, the zero rated goods, and gives you the difference between output and input. And you're able to see now the net VAT payable uh, down here, and this is what you're supposed to pay. If it was a credit, it will have been a negative, and that is, uh, you don't need to pay that. So once you have done this and you're agreeable, uh, once the return has been calculated and you want to confirm, you come to down this page and you can see an arrow here, uh, down here saying validate. So you just click on validate. When you click on validate, of course, uh, it will take and save the zipped file in your documents. And once you do that, go back to your iTax portal, log in uh, the same way we did, and then you select VAT to take, take you to this page. Now, during this page, it will show you this is the type of the original return and the period that you're filing. This is just an example that placed here. It doesn't relate to anything. It just inserted it there. And uh, here, you just come and upload form. Remember, when we validated this uh, data, it, what it did, it saved as a zipped file uh, once it, it had calculated. So it saved as a zipped file. So what you do here is you come and choose the file. When you click on choose the file, it will take you to your document folder. Uh, agree on the terms and click OK button to file the returns. So once you've already uploaded, it will tell you you want to upload this form, you say OK. Once you've already done it, it will give you this page uh, that return submitted successfully with acknowledgement number that one. So you come and download this return. It is important to always download this and keep it in your file. It helps you to always give you a summary of what you did on that month. Uh, because VAT returns are filed on or before 20th of the subsequent month's returns. So for instance, uh, this is to 20th, so we are filing for last month. So you download that and you're through. However, there is another process for you to make the payment that was filing the return. Now you need to make the payment. So how do you do that? If the taxpayer is in a payable position, just like we saw, this was a payable position. You were supposed to pay six million uh, to KRA for that return. So how do you do that? If the taxpayer is in a payable position, they will click on the payments button. Let me take us back a bit. So here, as you can see, there is a payment where my casa is. So you click on payments. And once you click on payments button, uh, download the receipt link uh, or proceed to the payments menu and follow the steps below. So these are the steps below. Select the payment registration, click next and select uh, a tax ed VAT. Once you do that, go to the next step. Select payment type as self-assessment. You are assessing your business, you are assessing yourself. Then tax period and liability details for tax period will be populated. That is, you select the month, the day, the, the, the month that could be August, September, whichever month you are, you are doing the returns, and the year, which year that was, it will give you those details. And 
it will give you uh, an hard where you have to click uh, click hard select mode of payment and submit thereafter make the payment through any of the agent banks mobile transfer or debit or credit cards they provide all these options there are bank details down there during that uh, pay prn uh, receipt so remember when you're making this payment ensure that when you're going to bank you have taken that download that you you download it because it has a serial number called payment registration number prn payment registration number this is an example of the payment registration number it's very different this is just an example it has uh, a long code like that you can pay through and pesa uh, through pay bill numbers shown below triple two triple two or you can write a check to KRA through any bank can uh, write a check in favor of the bank. Banks pay differently. You can write under commission of domestic taxes, or some of the banks will require you to write to their bank. For instance, they can say write to KCB or Equity or IM so that they're able now to process for you. But ensure that you take with you the payment registration number. Uh, thank you very, very much. This is the end of this presentation. I'm really hoping it was very helpful to you to ensure you comply with the requirement of VAT returns or any other taxation matters. For this and more of this such content, please subscribe and follow this channel. And this is my number down there. If you need any help, any clarification, just leave them in the comments. I'll be able to respond to you. If you have any queries, just holler me call me and I'll be able to explain. Uh, 